Hi. Hey, you What's guys. Up? Hey, you guys. Hey, that's what I just said. Hello. Wow. Oh, hello. I'm getting a fun little little echo. Let's turn that off there. All cool. Right. Hello and welcome. Welcome everyone to the Lords and Ladies of Fate stream. That is you, your stream, where we, the content creators, empower you, the viewer, to change the game in front of you. This is a tabletop role-playing stream. They do other tabletop board games, too, other nights. But tonight, it is a Star Wars tabletop role-playing game featuring me as the game master, Bruce Gaskin, and all these other people. I'll let you, we'll introduce them in just a moment. Um, some things you can do by hanging out with us, you guys will earn loyalty points, which you call fate chips here around these parts. And fate chips will let you do things like give experience to our player characters or take it away if you're feeling particularly nasty tonight. You can uh, okay. give them skill bonuses or make their next skill checks fail or more likely to fail. You can make their equipment glitch. You can drop random objects or force encounters, all that kind of cool stuff you can do with your fate chips that you've earned just by hanging out here um, or just by asking you ask the mods they'll give you whatever pretty much whatever you want right I'm pretty sure you guys are pretty loose loosey-goosey with those those fate chips so um I think that covers the basis for the intro so this is a Star Wars stream that takes place a role play stream that takes place after episode 6 return of the Jedi and just after the Mandalorian season 2 in the general timeline of Star Wars but before episode 7 the Force Awakens. So this is after the second Death Star has, um, but before oh, oh, good old Kylo Ren has come 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 to be uh, the the menace that he is. Oh, I'm getting audio out of Roll Twenty. Hey, give me a second to figure out what I'm doing, <laughs> and I and I will try to fix it. There it is. Yep, it's coming out of all ends. We got we got Bruce Gasson coming out of every end. <laughs> And that's never the oh, way you want that to That sounds like you need to go to the doctor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Okay, hopefully that's a little better. So, uh, yeah, we're pretty excited. Um, we'll go ahead. I guess we'll give, give you guys a chance and chat. We'll give you out some fate chips. If you can remember where we left off without, you know, immediately just repeating um, pre repeating what happened in the scrawl there. I, I'll give you a question here, a, a standard trivia question. Uh, do you? Does anybody remember the name? of the crime lord on the planet Teth where we are. If you remember his name, give out some fate chips. I'll, I'll give you a hint. It was in the opening crawl. Oh, it was? Yes. It was. Yes, that's true. Dang it, I, I was really thinking about a trivia question that wasn't <laughs> in that crawl. <laughs> and I went through like three, and I'm like, oh, that's in the crawl. Oh, that one's also in the crawl. Come on. I was like, oh, this one's definitely good. It was definitely still in the crawl. <laughs> Atlas got it right. It was Rungus the Hut, the one and only Rungus the Hut. Um, fierce and vicious creature that guy is. Yeah, that's good. Make sure good old Atlas gets paid for that. So I think last week we had a glitch that's still hanging out there, right? There's so, As far as outstanding things that the Lords and Ladies of Fate demanded that they did not get, we have a glitch for HKVRM, so you remember that. So speaking of characters, let's go ahead and go around the room. And instead of um, me introducing them, what I'd like to do, and I didn't warn you guys about this, I probably should have warned you guys about this, I think it would be yeah. better if from my perspective, if we go around and you guys tell me the name of your character, what they're wearing, and uh, you know just something about them, briefly. Don't don't go into a monologue, Armand. Um, <laughs> let's start. But since Adam's in the top corner of the screen, why don't you go first, Adam? I don't want to go first. Okay, fine. Uh, M, you go. First. No! Oh no! Oh no! So oh I, uh... my goodness. Um, okay, so... Oh, she's, she's gonna do it. <laughs> um, I'm gonna try. Uh, oh, sorry, if you guys could hear that. Um, so, um, what, do I say my real name, or what no, name? Just, uh, yeah, you okay. can say your real name, too, but we, we're, start, you, we want to get to the character after that. Okay, okay, um, I am, um, Tweak, is that, that's how you pronounce yeah, that's it, that's a right? real name. Yeah, okay. Um, and I um, have no memory um, in the game. Oh. 
Yeah, I'm not, saying, I'm, tell us about your character. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? Um, I, uh, I, 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 can I go again? Can I, uh, can oh, I get a redo? Good. All right, All right. Armand, why don't you go, and then we'll go after. All right. That's my name is my name is Armand. I'm your resident uh, GM for Wednesday nights, and I will be playing Doran Vorlt, the Jedi under the tutelage of a one Master Luke Skywalker. And that I'll, I'll stop there, so because I, I could keep going, but I won't. Oh, that's was, so much better told, than what I was I told. Did. Not Thank to. you. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was beautiful. Thank you. I am uh, Adam playing Strike Wildstar, who is a uh, who grew up kind of out in the streets. Not really a great guy. He's into gambling. He loves he loves him some gambling. He's a degenerate gambler. Um, he's wearing very nice clothes. It's all silk. 150 thread count. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> and uh, he uh, currently is uh, on a. Um, mission that he wants to figure out where he lost his uh where he wore the rest where he how he ended up with the rest of them and he wants to get his ship back from some uh shady people beautiful it's nice like thanks uh, adam can that Welcome, character Chris. even even talk i think <laughs> <laughs> i didn't even hear what that said Thank you, Nat. That was very nice. Thank you very much. <laughs> Great introduction. That is so Nat for you right there. <laughs> Poignant yes. as always. Very good. Very good. Awesome. <laughs> We're just going to leave it at that. <laughs> <laughs> and that's all you need to know, folks. That's all you need to know. That might have been a little too much. Oh, okay, yeah, that definitely pushed it. We hey, hey, to... I was oh, told curse. we no monologues. I was told yeah. no monologues. I know, Nat. You're going crazy over there. So much information you're giving out. Arm Slayer, you want to go? Sure. So, I'm a HK unit, uh, 3RM, and... I'm a protocol droid. Yes, protocol droid, with no secret weaponry or At killing mo moods. Um, that's who I am. So you're like you're Mr. Bel you're like Mr. Belvedere, but also an assassin. The same. Yeah. <laughs> and you're teal in color, aren't you? Teal in color. Oh yeah, I'm I'm ridiculously teal because it's Star Wars. Let's be ridiculous. <laughs> what color am I? I, uh, I know my um. What does my uh, my outfit look like right now? So you you, are, you have pink skin, right? Or salmon right. color? To determine yeah. yeah. And then um, you're you were wearing a leotard. The, all, all the all the the people who were in the stasis pods were wearing leotards. I think you still have your clothes. You're just kind of carrying them. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I didn't know if we um. I got kicked off at the end, um. So I didn't know if I ever got to put my uniform on yet. Or not. You would like to have already put your clothes on. I think it's okay. I want to run around naked. No, I'm just kidding. Um. Yeah, that'd be great. Okay. Cool. Great. <laughs> got so what is my all uniform? over the floor, like sloppy bastards. <laughs> that's that's fair. That's pretty spot on. <laughs> I didn't pick these clothes. Very nice. <laughs> All right. So, uh, thanks, Arm. And, and Jeff, you're the, you're the only one right? we haven't uh, got to yet. Yes, I'm Jeff. I'm uh, playing uh, Pog Sudud uh, as an Ithorian, um, Ithorian exile. Great. Yeah. That's good. Great. You have you have sexy duds, though. Do you want to talk about your sexy duds? You don't have to if you don't. Oh, want. yeah. I do have, uh, have a very nice uh, cloak. And uh, a nice cane that I carry around. Hmm, it's important. Oh, that is very. Especially when very it nice. lands upside your head, right? Yeah. Oh. It's a very important cane. All right, guys. I think we're ready to get into this. You guys ready? I'm ready. Oh, I've ready? been ready. Good. Mm -hmm. All right. So a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away, our heroes stand pretty much where we left them in the middle of the ship around the computer, the main computer of the crashed ship, the, the ship that crashed into the jungles. 
Um, they, uh, the lights are still flickering sort of on and off, and some things, uh, components are smoking. But otherwise, the vessel seems generally safe to be in for the, for the, for the time being. What do you do? I want to exit thing, the ship. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to say, hey, Lonely Fans, thanks for that uh, eight months subscription. Oh, my God! That's fantastic. Flood, so that, wow. flood that chat with hearts, everybody. Show them love. That is awesome. <laughs> Very good. Thanks, dude. Appreciate that support, Lonely Fans. You the man. Um, I'm going to look at the group and um and kind of say whoever whoever it was that did this to the ship could be close by somewhere my fear is that uh their goal was to destroy uh the uh the city on this uh on this planet or destroy us and seeing as we survived i fear that uh whoever it was might be trying to finish the job. We should, um, we should absolutely try to figure out and get to the bottom of this. I would greatly appreciate any help that you all would like to give. Uh, we all were captured and placed here on the ship for a reason. There must be something that connects us. I absolutely agree. But how do we figure out what that is? Well, I have be. no shortage of uh, people who want to see me dead, so uh, that one you're on your own. Hmm. If we trust in the Force, it won't lead us astray. Well, right. that makes me feel super comfortable hanging out with you here. Um, at that, I'm going to kind of uh, turn around, kind of like take a little look around. And notice that the Jawas howling something. What was that, my little friend? Oh, yeah. Strike's going to kick the HK droid and say, What did he say, man? <laughs> <laughs> I'm waiting for it in Skype. Oh, I think he put it in Skype. Oh, yeah, are we doing it that way now? Mm -hmm. Gotcha. <laughs> Translation. I will help as long as I get it gets me back to Tatooine. Oh, Master, you just dream of that wasteland of sand. I'm gonna. I'll, I'll look at the uh, uh, Neep and go, my little friend. If it is your goal to get to Tatooine, I will see to it that we get you there safely. commentary oh joy i can't wait until we get back there and then i'm gonna look at neep and say does um uh, does he have a less less sarcastic setting <laughs> all right at that um uh doran's gonna kind of turn around and start uh towards the uh the exit and start to exit the ship I'll follow. So Doran hits the switch. Oh, can can you guys all roll me a wisdom check real quick? So go ahead and roll d twenty and add your wisdom to it. Oh, I got good wisdom. I got good wisdom. I got Tog's got a seventeen. Oof. Uh, twelve. Ah, HKs. Um. Got a two. Doran's yeah, got I didn't even twelve. That. Strike's got a nineteen. Great. It should be a three. Is Emily or... in em Emily? Yep, I am trying. <laughs> <laughs> I am attempting. It is not uh wow, this is not letting me do it. Okay. Um uh, yeah, I don't know what is I don't um, know how to do this. Chris, just heads up. I got with my bonus. Okay, thank you. I got 28. Dang, dude. Oh my God. Okay. So I'm thinking um, we're just going to uh, 
So, Emily, you're going to look for the little die at the bottom of the list on the far left on the drop down. Yeah, I don't you... see that. Um, Should be a little little list of starting with an arrow at the top, and there's a bunch of little icons yeah. there. All the way at the bottom, there's one that looks like a 20 sided die. It's, it, it, oh, it wait. Might be on okay. The upper okay. left side, maybe. I think I got it. Cool. And then you pick your, okay. your die. We're doing 20. Yep, just one D20. Oh, my goodness. This. So uh, once you got once you got it, you got it. Okay. Takes yep. a little practice. Give sometimes. me one second. I can't find myself. I have that problem a lot. Usually it takes a bit <laughs> of reflection to find oneself. Ah mm. uh, yes, the existential dread creeping in slowly. Okay, so I'm just gonna use this here. It's okay, I can proceed. This is gonna this is a, a, okay, a thing I'm, I'm gonna sorry. use. No, you keep going. You 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 try, you try working. Yeah, out. We'll, I, we'll try to help I'm you out. still trying to. I don't see myself on here. Are, are oh you... wait, no, I'm lying. Here I am. Okay. Okay. Okay, I'm lying. Oh, go ahead. All right, it's cool. All right, you take your time. No worries. Uh, okay. So, um, just let me know whenever you get it. We'll use it for the for part of the rest of the game. So. Uh, okay. So as Doran Voril walks over towards the the panel that Togsidad had had played around with last session, um, the the panel that lowers the ramp out of the ship, uh, Strike Wildstar starts to notice that the ship that he's starting to lean one way instead of in in, in his weight he has to put a little bit of extra a little bit more of his weight onto one foot than the other foot and. He's, he feels like maybe the ship is tipping. And then Dorvolt Volt hits the button, and the ramp extends down, and it splatters into the mud. But then, just after a few minutes, a few moments of, of it being down, it actually lifts up off the mud. And then Tog... C Dodd, who comes to the door, C Dodd comes to the door, doorway, and looks out, and he sees that the underneath the ramp, which is now above the mud, is surrounded and surrounding the whole ship where it landed, is very thick mud, and everyone except for the HK droid looks to the left outside the doorway and the right, and can see that the tip of the ship is now starting to point upwards towards the sky and it seems that the ship itself is turning slowly up like this and the ramp is going up in the air with it so I noticed this everybody notices this but Tog you would recognize this immediately as being a a, a as, as, as um, quick mud quick modest situation, but the rest of you may, I don't think, would have, have experienced this. Um, can I roll a survival check? Or I would yeah, like to roll a survival good. check to see how long we might have. Sure. That sounds real good. So I believe that's going to add your wisdom. All right? Am I wrong yes. about that? Yep, wisdom. Plus your ranks. Fourteen. Fourteen. That's great. So, um, and that's that's oh, that's with bonuses. Okay, so yeah. sure, that's fine. That's good enough. Um, so you recognize not only that this is quick mud, but also that you guys are sinking quickly. Um, you guys have maybe maybe two or three minutes before the whole ship goes under, and you and you can tell that it's about a six meter jump. To dry land. Does this ship have Between a top hatch? Between the ramp and dry ground. What was that? Does this ship have a top hatch? Uh, it does. It, well, not anymore. That was on the back half of the ship. Oh. That broke off. Yeah. And and the back the back of the ship is the part that's sinking in, and the tip front of the ship is tipping off, kind of like the Titanic. Sorry, that if that, that never that never touches happened. close to home <laughs> for anybody. <laughs> Too soon, man. Do I, too soon. Do I know? <laughs> yet? 
I think uh, no, because Tog Tog hasn't said anything. Everybody else is, should be so we kind of just kind of piecing uh, it together. Yeah, um, yeah. my noticing the the ramp coming up and seeing that it's about a six meter jump. Am I am I able to discern if any of the party members would have difficulty making that jump? Um, I think your character is relatively intelligent, so I, I would say that he could look around and see some of the party members are shorter and some of them are heavier, without question. Um, beyond that, I think I mean most of the party members are in good shape, so you, I think they all look pretty able-bodied. But Neep being small, HK being heavy, you can maybe infer that they would have challenges, more challenges. How soft is the quick mud? Uh, it, you're, you, there's no way to tell from looking at it, but you, it, it definitely splattered a little bit when the ramp went down. Well, You'd have to test it <laughs> to, to I, know how soft it is. I want to get on top of the ship and have a better view. You're going to climb on the ship? No, I'm going to walk up the ship. Oh, you're going to go back in the ship and walk up to the to the, to the the front glass in the, in the bridge area? No, I'm going to walk out the door... Oh walk right, on you the have side of the ship, right? Because you have that those electro electromagnetic feet, right? Yes, I do. Got it. That's fine. Yeah, you can go ahead and do that. Sweet. Do I see any smaller jumps? So HK three RM with nonchalantly puts his feet on the side of the doorway and walks up the top up to the top of the ship and surveys the area. He sees all around, he sees jungle all around the crash site. He sees the width, he sees that the entire ship itself is sitting inside a giant mud pit, um, or giant yeah, thing of, of quick mud, except for the, the six feet, foot diameter from all directions, six foot um, distance to dry land. Six meter, sorry. God damn imperial system. Mm. So there's six meters yeah. till dry land? Is that what yeah. you said? Yeah, okay. Between yeah. The dry the land's a myth. And if, if it's further from from where from the ship itself, so you're gonna add, it's a it's a four meter ramp. So we're gonna you're gonna add another four meters if you're jumping from the edge of the ship itself. Um. So I'm gonna go back down and inform them of that situation. Okay, HK walks down the ship again nonchalantly and um. Uh, no, no one seems too surprised as he's a droid, but maybe a little surprised because he hadn't mentioned he could do that. And uh, he tells everybody that uh, this issue is, seems to be consistent around the, the full edge of the, the full full diameter of the ship, circumference of the ship. I guess I'll let everyone know that my assessment of the situation, we only have uh, about another two minutes before to get off this thing before it completely goes under. Am I able to use my uh, mechanics, my craft mechanics, to uh, maybe create a, like a one-time use grapple hook out of parts around the I ship? I think you, I think, um, I think you you certainly could, but I think you actually already have um, something like that in your inventory, don't you? Me? Yeah, I thought I thought you had some cable or something in your inventory. No, no for some reason I don't. You might be think I have one. Oh, okay. Um, so you want to make a cable? Uh, something that would eject I the cable if, out and, and like onto something. Yeah, I would think that if if your care well, you know, I, honestly, I, I hate to be a a a, 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 bu a bummer, but at building anything takes time, and you have about two minutes. So you're talking about jury rigging something pretty complex, pretty quick. Mm -hmm. I, I I don't think you'd have time to be honest. Okay. Um, I think you could look for stuff in the ship that you could maybe use as rope, but I think um, God, crafting what a harsh something that complex. GM. I'm sorry. So I'm going to I'm going to stand on the I'm going to stand on the ramp and kind of start ushering everybody to 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 go. It's only a 6 meter jump everybody. We can we can make this if you don't feel comfortable, I can give you a toss. Uh and I'm assuming um uh, uh tossing somebody would be would would probably require my strength, is that correct? Yeah, absolutely, that would be I would like check. to use I would like to use my enhance ability to enhance my strength. Sure. Okay. Uh, let's, let's double. Let's just bring up your your skill for that. So your enhance ability. It lets you add a bonus to your strength or dexterity depending on your check. So you're going to add constitution to your check as well as uh, your ranks for that. I'm definitely Jedi, not. I'll go ahead and roll my hey, for it. Hey Jedi. 
25 credits says you can't get that guy to land head first in the mud. Well, why would I want to do that? 20 credits. <laughs> it's a compelling plus argument. Plus my rank, <laughs> plus my constitution. Um, and that's it, just my rank and the ability and my constitution modifier. There's mm -hmm. no like, uh, like level bonus or anything like that. Okay, nope. just make sure. Roll. Jesus. <laughs> I don't think I get anything. What'd you get? Uh, you got a, a six. Nine. Six gets you nothing. Yep. Well, I got a nine. Nine is still gets you nothing. Yep. So that yep. was you just <laughs> cost cost you two vitality though. So Doran Vorlt tries to channel the force, reaching inward with his willpower, and suddenly just squirms and tenses up and looks real awkward. <laughs> but generally, nothing happens except for that. So he's not able to throw us. Uh, he's not able to use that ability. He, he, I think he is still trying to throw you, though, right? Uh, now I can do do that again if I wanted to, right? Uh... It's just it's just the cost of vitality. Yeah, that'd be fine with me. So I'm gonna do that. I'm, I'm gonna. I, I, this is gonna work. So this is taking a little while. He's still straining. <laughs> Caring. That's what it is. Where do we land? Uh. 14 Here we go. Time. 14. 14 is <laughs> still so he he really reaches out and he he tries to focus his mind and he looks like he's really straining and he's starting to sweat now and yet nothing happens and it's starting to maybe impact the the, the, the way the group is feeling about what he's doing it seems to be taking a long time but nothing's happening and i'm going to go uh... I'm, uh, this is the first time I've ever tried to use that um, <laughs> since I Master Skywalker taught me. Um, oh well, I'll throw you. Hey, Tinbin, what is he saying? You're muted. Yes, I was muted. <laughs> Answer. Oh, you do not want to know. Yeah, I kind of want to know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I declined to answer. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep um, uh, stressing the importance of um, speed here. I'm gonna start going. Uh, if you feel confident in your jumping abilities, please go ahead and jump. At this point, the ship is is completely straight up and down. You guys are having to hang onto the side of the ship. <laughs> the rank, the ramp is no longer flat, and uh, uh, you, you, the the sh it's the ramp is now quickly approaching to the pit itself. So you have maybe let's want to say you have about ten meters between the ramp and the mud pit. Uh, I'm going to uh, attempt to jump off the ramp over the mud pit. Cool. Okay, so you're going to roll your jump check, which I believe adds... Everyone can use that skill, whether you have training or not, but if you have ranks, you can add that to your roll, and you can add... I'm pretty darn sure it's, it's strength to that. My roll is uh, not working, but I would like to... Um, yeah. I would like to... Um, to ask Dorian... If, uh, am I pronouncing that correctly, Dorian? Dorian, yep. Dorian, okay. Um, if he would be able to throw me um, and see if I could land um, close, anywhere close. Give me, give me close in there if you can. Do you think uh, you'd be able to do that? Uh, Dorian's going to, uh, you know, kind of look at you and go, I trust in the force. Chris, uh, I got a, uh, I got a seven. Okay. Great. But I, I don't see, I don't have a, a jump skill. Okay. You can add your strength to it. Do you have a strength modifier? Uh, no. I have dexterity cool. though. Okay. So, <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, that's fine. Uh, so, okay. I just want to double check, make sure that you're as screwed as I think you are. Great. Is this just a standing jump? 
obviously just like running off the ramp i'm gonna try okay, to get a running sure. jump so i can clear sure. the uh we'll say you can do a running jump uh so you yeah so you jump two meters and you you with all your strength you you run and jump out the window jump two meters and <laughs> Fail to fail to clear the distance. What? Could I argue <laughs> that my escape artist skill could come into play? Maybe soon. <laughs> I think now we're now we're in almost we're in a little time crunch here. We're gonna see how everyone else does. <laughs> so uh, you 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 fail unfortunately to clear the the distance and land feet first into the mud and sink up to your ankles. Fortunately, not too deep. It seems that it's it's relatively stable, but you can feel yourself sinking a little bit at a time. Um, Doran's gonna look at that and go, "Oh, oh no! Uh, everyone, we hurry, please. Let's let's get off this ship." I'm gonna go ahead and run off. He's gonna and jump, guys. Dive in the mud. <laughs> oh goodness! There's so, a. Th- um. <laughs> There's another glitch. Yeah, oh, I know. I, this is my second glitch on me now. Great. It's it makes sense. It is the second second part. Wow. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> All right, so hasn't even been a jerk yet. Did you did you tr- so you're trying to run and jump as well? Is that what's going on here? Yeah, I'm gonna go jump off. Um, if I, if it helps using the magnetic feet to, it, it's not gonna help you. Yeah, I don't either, but. I, Appreciate your interest there. All right, so go ahead and roll for your jump skill. Then you're gonna Wait, add your strength to it. Jump skill? Yeah, there's a uh-huh. skill for it. If you if you automatically can roll for it, you you just don't get any bonuses if you don't have any ranks in it. So if you have ranks, you can add that to your roll, and you can add your strength modifier to your roll, which I don't know if you have one of those either. Oh uh, yeah, I do. It's a negative cool. one. Hey, we got bits. Someone's throwing money at this stream. Thanks, video hey, gamer. Hey, thanks, video gamer mermaid. Thanks for hanging out. We've learned not VG Mermaid, video game room. <laughs> I missed the opportunity for a great glitch there a little while ago. I totally forgot about it. There's a 11 there. So 11. Okay. So This roll goes to 11. Great. Okay. So uh, HK3RM <laughs> le- leaps off with all his might, flails ah. through the air a little bit, and lands right next to Wild, to strike Wildstar in, in the mud. And there's a little bit more of a splatter this time, and he goes up to about his calf, and he's now about the same depth in as uh, Strike is. Oh, Wait, my. I'm going to so look I'm down at... Um, oh, go ahead. Start walking to the edge. Uh, okay, we'll, 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 I'll hold that thought. We're going to let these other guys go, because it's all happening <laughs> kind of at the same time, unless they're planning to, to plan. <laughs> Ducking cover. <laughs> My plan is to attempt to use their heads as uh, stepping stones and jump from them to the okay. store. Sure. Okay. So uh, strike. Act- so actually, that probably work out. That- okay. Yeah. Go All ahead. Right, so go I got to this is jump. I don't know if I got a jump skill. So what I got to roll? You just roll a regular d20, and then if you don't have skill in it, and you add your strength modifier to it. I think you actually have I a do. negative strength modifier. You have to apply that negative. Yeah. <laughs> The Jedi st- will still throw you. I might still need it. I want the Jedi to throw me. <laughs> Emily, just a heads up, you are probably the strongest person in the group. <laughs> just going to throw that out there. Maybe you should consider throwing him. <laughs> just, I, I shouldn't say that. Anyway. <laughs> should I? Okay, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Meta, meta. Um, should I just... Well, okay. You know what? I'm I'm gonna jump then. I'm gonna jump. I'm gonna... Okay. Well, let, well I want to let Neat finish his thing first. Okay. 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 Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. All right. So so Neat, um, so Neat leaps with all his effort out of of the, the door as well. And I gotta stop laughing. And and he conveniently actually jumps the same distance as Strike Wildstar did, but lands right on his shoulders. You know, kind of like a five-year-old on his daddy's shoulders. <laughs> the hell are you doing, Nip? Uh, and I, we're gonna. I and then at that point, 
he um, easily stands up and steps onto HK3RM's shoulders, which is only one meter away. He can easily get there with, with a two meter step. And now he is only four meters away from the edge uh, of, of, the, of the mud pit, but that he would need another action before he can jump again. So we're gonna go ahead and let Emily take her turn or let Tweak take her turn, sorry. Okay, no, that's fine. Um, so Tweak is going to, uh, I'm gonna like go as far back as I can and then I'm just gonna run and then go to the end and just like dive off of the, the edge and see how far I can go till I splat on the ground. Okay, so you're going to roll a d20. Are, are, we, are we able to do that yet, Emily? No, I can't do anything. I can't even see you guys on the computer. Do you want the, GM to, want the yes, GM to roll I, for you? Can I get help, please? Or would you rather a player roll for you? I'm okay with a player I, roll. I don't, I don't care. It doesn't matter. Okay, someone want to roll for Emily? For, for Tweak? Anyone, I can do it if you guys sure. prefer. Okay, so... 16. Nat's going to do it? Okay, oh, so Jeff did it. Okay, yeah. so Jeff got 16... Emily, uh, do you have Tweak's character oh. sheet out? Yes. Uh, does she have a strength? Does, I'm sorry, does she have jump as one of her skills? Um, no. Okay, so you're going to add the... So right next uh, to your strength. strength, yeah, next to that, uh, there should be in parentheses a plus or minus a number. Yep, yeah. uh, it's 14 plus 2. Okay, so you rolled an 18, which is pretty solid. That's uh, one, two, two, four. Okay, so you. <laughs> okay, all right. So you run and jump, mm -hmm. and soar over the heads of your teammates, and land gracefully onto the clear, clear ground, the the, the hard, solid ground on the other side. Okay, awesome. I've never done anything graceful in my life, I don't think. I feel fantastic. So, am I, um, okay, am I, like, um, in the mud, or did no, I make it? You, you cleared it, yep. And I you, cleared it? Oh, okay. You, your character, I'm just going to throw this out there, might even be surprised that the sheet is so I out. am definitely <laughs> surprised. That's what I said. I, I don't remember yeah. doing anything graceful in my life. Maybe I have, but this feels fantastic. Awesome. Okay, that was in character, right? Because that was perfect. Yes, yeah, yeah, no, that was in character. <laughs> Great. I haven't done anything awesome in, in real life either, but yeah, that was character. Great. All right, I think Jeff's the only one who hasn't gone now. Uh, uh, no, Tots, I haven't either. Not, not, oh, you're still up there. I, I'm yeah. making sure that everybody jumps before. Okay. Wow. Tog, knowing he's not a very, very strong person, is going to very casually reach to his belt and pull out his uh, grappling spike launcher and fire it at a tree and then uh, kind of just swing across the gap. As you're Let's... swinging, Doran's going to go, that would have been helpful for the people in the mud too. Just going <laughs> to throw that out there. I'm going to make sure as Doran's yelling it, I'm going to make sure my coat, cape is very flowy and it looks very cool <laughs> as I do it. <laughs> Just billowing out behind you. Uh -huh. Oh, wow. That You're is a, a cool real billow. asshole. But that's pretty cool. <laughs> so it, it plays out exactly like he said, and he lands right next to Tweak on, on the dry ground. Um, after lowering himself, uh, the, the the cable has to stay up there, but um, he can attach a new grappling thing to it, oh. um, um, and he can use it again if he needs to down the road. I'll, I'll swing if I can. I'll swing the cable back to Doran. Well, uh, I, oh, okay, cool. That, that's uh, I was gonna ask if I could take a ten on jump and oh, okay, still be okay. able to make it, but if I have the opportunity to just swing down with the grapple, I'll do that. Sure. Okay, so retcon what I just said. He, instead of having it returned to the thing, he just tosses the, the grappling hook launcher itself, which is the holder with the handle, essentially. Um, mm -hmm. Swings it, because it's still attached to the tree. Swings it, and it swings over to Doran. Doran, can you um, roll a reflex check for me, please? Uh, okay, what would reflex be? Is that uh, dexterity? Just D20. No, you have a reflex save on the side there. Essentially, you're yeah. trying to prevent from looking like an idiot right now. Oh, I see. Reflex plus two. Okay, so it's <laughs> D20 plus two. Great for that. 
Casual oh, spike launcher. Never 11, yeah, 11. These ro roll, tw I'm about to start rolling actual dice because. Right. <laughs> no, that's fine. So Doran Voral, uh doesn't expect this at first, um, but at the last minute reaches out and grabs, grabs it. Um, and, uh, just, just barely dodging, tipping out of the ship and, and, and losing balance. But he grabbed, he grabs it successfully. Oh, and then I'll just swing gracefully down with the ease of the force and. The force. <laughs> <laughs> That's how we can explain everything. It's all the force. Very good. So, yep, Doran Vort lands right next to the other two and, and hands the... Uh, the uh, well, no, he's still holding it. I can't do that for you. Uh, so he stand, lands next to the other two players, Tweak and and Tog. I'll hand, um, I'll hand Tog back his um, uh, launcher and then gesture to both him and Tweak. Help me get these two out of the mud, and then we're, I'm gonna walk over to um, I'll walk over to uh, Wildstar first, and start um, trying to pull him out of the mud. So, so the closest person to you would be would actually be HK with Neep on your, his shoulders at this point. Oh, um, okay, okay. And you wouldn't be able to reach them. It's about four oh, meters between four them. Meters. Okay, and, so that's and you. wow. That's a that's a little bit of weight. We can't, so, actually, we can we move, can't. You guys. You guys, some of you made it. I can. We can actually use the map, I guess. But yeah, you guys go ahead. I'll move you guys if you want to move you after. It's, it's okay. Do we have the op do we have the ability to do that? Oh, yeah, look at that. should I can, be able I can to. Move my, I can move yep, my guy you now. You can move your guys. Yep. So go you ahead. guys, as we go now, you can move your guys as long as you don't do it incorrectly. So this guy, he's like right here, and this guy, he's like right here, and he's like right on top. Yeah. <laughs> but, um... <laughs> can I use Great. a survival to look around for like any like thick vines or something that we might be able to use as a rope? Absolutely, go ahead. I would think you can use your, you can add a plus two synergy bonus for your knowledge with nature. Okay, that's a 22. Okay, so Tog Sadad looks around and he sees vines are covering just about every tree and connecting tree to under, upper story trees to understory foliage pretty much all over the jungle around them. So there's there's a ton of vines and strong uh, that that could be potentially used. Good eye, cut these vines. Use your laser sword. Hey, muted. I don't I don't speak Athorian. What's he saying? Oh, he has a translator. Yeah, oh, he has translator. a translator. Oh, okay, cool, cool, cool. He hears every bit of that. You hear every bit of that. All right, wonderful. Uh, I take out my lightsaber, uh, and I walk over, and I start slicing off some uh, lengths of uh, vines. Sure. Great. Okay. So you guys have some vines. Uh, the vines fall from the trees and, and, and the brush with, with ease, uh, and they're, they're all over the ground now. Um, but they don't quite resemble a rope that you've ever recognized. Uh yet um and now hk 3rm is up to in up to his waist and billy is as well what am i moving along at least uh you haven't had a turn so you can have a turn now <laughs> sorry oh. <laughs> well for that i would just want to point out that i like how we jumped out of the storage room and not the uh exit no, oh, you're talking about the fact that my map for the first session doesn't match my map for the second session? Yes. That's an astute observation. <laughs> that could have been a good trivia question. <laughs> and you know what I get for that? It certainly has nothing to do with the fact that I didn't draw these maps myself. Absolutely not. <laughs> I get an XP drop for that. Imagination. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to move my way to uh, the stable land. Okay, so I, I'm going to say that in order to move through this material, because it's so thick, you're going to have to do a strength. Give me a strength check. No, well, I'm a robot. Does that count? Um, even robots have limits. Damn. <laughs> there you go. All Oof. right. So uh, HK3RM struggles to move forward with the Jawa on his back. And he's able to move forward a little bit, about one meter, but finds that uh, in doing so, he is sunk now to his waist. So we'll, we'll put you back where, where, you were, where I said you were, because you would have done that beforehand, I would think, be before they got to chop the vines. So. 
What will leave you at the same, the same sort of sinking depth zone. And then I would say it's Billy's turn to do something. Not Billy. Okay. His name isn't Billy. It's Strike. <laughs> Damn it. Someone throw me that vine. Is um is HK uh close enough to to grab Strike? Um so he was previously four meters away, now he's three. So that's like nine feet in, in Okay, so so no. no. <laughs> go go gadget arms. That's not that far. So I would say no. Okay. Um, God damn it! He has T Rex arms. But he's so, getting close. We can vi we can visibly see him getting closer. Yeah. On his but, own. So Billy's not doing anything other than just yelling for help. Is that, is that your plan? At, that's, that's, at, that's fine. I'm, okay. Shuffle forwards. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna grab a handful of these vines that we cut down and run over and just Try to do something with it. Chuck it, it to ch chuck <laughs> one end of the vines to uh, strike. Okay, that's fine. Uh, be, as you're as you're gathering the the vines, though, I would like Neep to take a turn if he would like to. Yeah, I feel like uh, we're closer to the edge, so I would try another jump. Sure. Good. It'd be good if anyone else were to help. <laughs> <laughs> no, nope. I'm yeah. jumping. <laughs> so go ahead and roll. I'll push him off. Okay, you're gonna push him off. Yeah, that, that, I'll, 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 okay, so I'll add a plus four to synergy bonus to his to his roll. Oh, uh, plus I'll four. I'll cane as a baseball bat. So, so I can add, a, I, yeah, add so plus four to your, your roll. Plus two this time. <laughs> you have a yes. minus two on a fire? Is that what it is? Brutal. Okay, so you did incredibly well there. So, okay, so you got two, and then you got nine. So this, so you, you jump five meters and clear the clear, clear area and um, actually jump past Tweak. No! Look at your pride is hurt. <laughs> oh, very impressive, my little friend. Show all. Awesome. Great. All right, so now it's just Billy and HK out there. And then, so at this point, Doran throws throws the, the, the ropes. Go ahead and make a reflex check. <gasps> uh, Billy. I mean, not Billy. Strike. Jesus. <laughs> Jesus isn't here either. That's yeah, true. Rungus. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my I God. Wine. I love that comment so much. I'm sorry. That was that was so spot on. Apparently, Urban is still, still here because the chat still treats me like he is. <laughs> Fifteen. Uh, video Game Mermaid said it was Poison Ivy you, you took from the, from, the, from the tree. Fifteen. Okay, so Strike without question grabs it and perfectly grabs it with confidence and and secures and secures a good grasp on on the collection of vines that Doran has tossed to him and i guess i'll look back to the rest of the party and uh kind of gesture them to help me reel them in by come on and give me a hand here he is it anyone oh. gonna yeah, I'll, he... I'll, I'll I would probably hurt if I assisted. <laughs> he. All right, I'll help. I'll okay. Help. So at this, Doran is pulling pointlessly, but then Tweak, or the Tog Sadag comes over and pulls, and it looks a little less pointless. And then Tweak comes and pulls, and it seems they're making progress. Go ahead and roll. Uh, give us a strength check arm, uh, uh, for Doran and add six to his roll. This is a synergy bonus. This is you guys working together. You Wait, guys you want me to, uh, no, to? You guys are all oh, helping okay. his roll by by helping him. <laughs> That's uh, it. I'm pathetic. done with roll twenty. I'm done. I've got I've got my dice right here. We'll be using those. So the group pull as hard as they can, and then they all fall over on their rumps, and and Billy Rump. manages to to pull out a little bit and lean oh. forward. Good job, and Billy. He's, he's flat on his belly in the mud. Um, just keeping his face out of the mud, but he's flat at least, and his his tor his his legs, his thighs are no longer in the mud. So it's just like the, ba the his knee down, kind of diagonally into the mud still. Oh my but god, you, you this is the worst day ever. <laughs> Commentary. Making... Oh, worthless meat bag. 
sides. We're making <laughs> progress. All right, so I would say HK can now take take a turn. And he's going to take another meter forward. He's going to just try to push, push forward. All right, that sounds good. Um, you could all... Oh, you go ahead. Another strength? Yeah, you would use strength to do the same thing, yep. Okay, that's good. So this time HK3RM pulls his, his servos into hyperdrive and... <laughs> a couple more space words shoved in there and then moves forward <laughs> four meters and reaches the edge of of the dry land and Am I on, uh, on the yeah, dry you, land we'll, part, we'll say or? that you can pull yourself up onto dry land with that spectacular strength roll sounds great excellent Wonderful. I'm going to look at the droid and go, do, do you mind giving us a hand with this as we're struggling to pull? I'll go over and start trying to clean the mud off of HK. Uh, strike. Awesome. So, so see, HK3RM. Let's seems, get this over with. HK3RM doesn't seem to notice the cleaning that, that Neep is doing, but Neep is doing quite a good job, actually. Very efficiently cleaning without any cleaning tools. Uh, <laughs> just his hands. And so, okay, so the HK3RM unit walks over and joins behind the group, and are you guys all still helping? Mm-hmm. Okay, so you all collectively pull. This time we're going to add everyone's strength bonus and see if that helps. Or, okay, let's do this. We're going to add up your strength bonuses or eight, <laughs> whichever is higher. I would, are you guys really that weak? <laughs> I have a, I have a yeah, negative two. two. You're a very dexterous I, group. I have a minus one. <laughs> Right, yeah, so we'll one. take eight. <laughs> okay, we'll just take eight. <laughs> who's who's rolling this? Uh, that's still you because you're the front. Still me. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay, well I am I'm using this bad boy right here because uh, roll twenty has been doing me dirty. Okay. Hey, Can you 20. verify that? Twenty. <laughs> I haven't touched it. Hold on. Twenty. Oh, oh, sure. Oh, the one convenient. time he rolls off screen. Well, so we'll, we'll assume that's an extraordinary success. And without question, Thank Billy, not on, the whole group falls backwards. And Billy doesn't just get pulled out. He actually gets flung on top of Doran with all the mud and everything. <laughs> You've wow. all successfully cleared the mud. <sighs> and at this, you see the ships finally finish sinking in and, and, and the mud bubbles. And then hey, guys. An hour in, and we've moved six whole meters. Yeah, right. <laughs> Is it an hour? Jeez. All right, good job. Oh, Corey. <laughs> Great idea. It was I'm minutes. sorry. I thought it was only two minutes for the ship to sink. All right, so I'm going to look at everybody and go, what the hell is happening right now? That is a question that I, too, would very much like the answer. It would seem um, that we're stranded in a jungle. Is anyone familiar with this uh, this planet uh, of Tet? I have no idea if I've ever even seen this before. I can't even remember anything. I, I do know that this planet is controlled by Rungus the Hut of the Hut family. Mm, great. Notorious. Great, great, great gangsters do um does anyone know how to get to the uh the, the city oh, of perine <laughs> my goodness the jawa sounds like a dog <laughs> it's real yappy theory <laughs> master maybe if we join them they can assist us to get back to some civilized civilization and we can make it back to your sandy planet. At this moment, you guys ready for this? At this moment, you guys hear a voice and this voice says as soon as I can get this thing to work okay hang on hang on wait wait I just need to get 
Oh my god, your your pictures are so big in Roll Twenty for some reason. <laughs> I can't get to the damn map. Okay. <laughs> okay, hold on one second. I'm trying to bring the guy in. Okay. Suddenly you hear a voice say, "Hello, strangers. Please don't shoot. Please." You all look towards the voice, and you see, you see, a Keldor, a Keldor, which uh, I think I can show you a picture. Do I have a picture? Yep. I'm gonna switch real quick here, Nat, just so you know. I'm gonna switch screens real quick. You see this fella? Uh, wait, I, I just switched me. Didn't switch you guys. All right. You see this guy? I don't know. Hopefully, everyone can see him. I can't see anything. He's a Keldor, and he's dressed in. A Keldor, he he's he's got brown skin. He's got a mask on his face, covering up the, his nose and his mouth. And he's got a he's got a cloak on, and he's got otherwise sort of traveler clothes, just standard sort of spacer traveler clothes on. He says, he says to the group, "Please don't shoot." I saw, I saw your handiwork there. I I was going to come help you, but I was afraid of what you what sort of people you might be. But listening, you sound friendly enough, and. I wanted, wanted to offer you some protection from the darkness that's coming soon, and perhaps a meal. I run a small hostel not too far from here. I was out hunting, and I implore you to follow me and uh, take me up on my offer. It looks like you're in pretty dire straits given the condition of your ship. Will, will, you, will you come with me, please? So I'm going to look around at everybody and go, what is this? Has anybody, does anybody know who this guy is? Well, Video Game Mermaid in chat says he's a traveling vacuum salesman. Don't trust him. <laughs> I could use a new vacuum. Right. Hey, uh, hey, Snaggletooth, too, what actually. kind of people, what kind of people did you possibly think we were? Who else well, crash lands here? Though I'm, not sh though I'm not sure if that's a compliment or an insult. I will say that that is an Imperial <laughs> ship you crashed upon. And my concern was that you were Imperials. And they are not nice folk around these parts. So I, want, I wanted to make sure that I wasn't walking into an Imperial trap when I came to investigate this ship. So... Are you do not look like Imperials. You look like spacers, lost travelers. Just the sort of people who need protection from the night that's come to come. And I, the, the night on Teth is not a thing to take lightly. Uh, I would like the drink there. <laughs> well, yes, we at the hostel, we have food, we have drink. Uh, I believe we have uh, a Tatooine sunburn right now. Behind the counter, and when we have your your standard standard sort of drinks. Oh man, you had me at Tatooine. I'm in you, crazy son of a bitch. Let's go. Oh, <laughs> oh okay. Do the rest of your party feel the same way? Uh, I would like to use uh, sense his um, his base emotions. Okay. Go ahead and roll your check for it. Um, that's gonna be wisdom. Okay. Oh, These have never worked out. Okay, so let's roll the die. I'm gonna add your wisdom to that. 13, by the way. Thirteen plus two. That's fifteen plus your rank. four for uh, my rank. So nineteen. You got a nineteen. Okay. All right. So let me go ahead and just real quickly roll his his will save. Okay. So uh, you succeed. Your so, so Doran almost, rather, rather just slyly to the side, closes his eyes, touches his forehead, and reaches inward to touch the Force, and he sends it to this character, the, the Keldor, and he touches the mind gently, and he senses no ill will from this character. He senses genuine concern from this character and then at the same moment extraneous to this sense Doran is flooded by 
a feeling, a disturbance in the force, a strong disturbance in the force that he can tell is from close by. You're muted. <clears throat> so we should. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna look at the the party and go. We should. Uh, we should follow him. I sense. Uh, I sense something. Something hanging in the air here. I. Uh, I don't think it'll be safe for us. We should. Uh, we should get some. Some rest. Someplace Sounds safe. Good to be. Mockery. Yes, master. Yes, he did say Tatooine. You should keep on going along with them. I'm going to look over and say, do you guys really trust this person that we don't even know? We I'll, don't uh, know each other. Yeah, I'll, I'll look at um, uh, Tweak and kind of go, uh, I, um, I sense no ill will in him. Explanation. What other choice? do we have we have no idea where civilization is here and we need some sort of help it leaves only him that is true we must make our way to Perrine and I do not believe that I know the way do you know the way to Perrine uh, my uh, Keldorian friend well of course Perrine is not too far from here it's about a couple days travel by, by foot. Uh, if you have a speeder, you could get there a little quicker, probably within within the day. Uh, you would never make it there this evening. And Do you have I don't know to... why you would want to go there. It's not a safe place for people who are not Imperials. I'll, uh, I'll go kind of look deeply at him and say, uh, maybe we could discuss this someplace more secure. Maybe yes. you should lead us to your the hostel you run? Yes, it's called the gem in the jungle. It's the this gem way, in the please. jungle. That's wonderful. is everyone in agreement that you should that you you want to come. I don't want to take you against your will, but I will offer free lodging this evening, giving your circumstances. Does anybody else feel like this is too good to be true? No. All right. <laughs> well. I guess I can't argue with that because I don't really have any other options. Uh, I'll look at Tweak and go, uh, just keep yourself close. I'll make sure that you're safe. Oh, that, thank you. I appreciate that. I think you will not regret this decision. This, my hostel is very nice and I am a good host and it is far better than the accommodations provided by the Tethian jungle at night. Trust me. No offense to you, good sir. I just, I'm very confused, and I think we all are a little on is, edge right now. Your your <laughs> feelings are perfectly understandable. The you are wary travelers, and not the first I've met. And most do not readily lend an ear or trust trust people they don't meet, they don't know, and they just met. I totally understand, but I. I encourage you, please do come. Okay. Let us hurry. The sun is beginning to set. And I sense... I feel, right. I feel a storm will, will come upon us soon. We should get in before that darkness hits, because the darkness of a storm is very much the same as the, that of night. Okay. Good, sir. I guess lead the way. All right. So the party gathers behind this character, Kel... Kel uh, the Keldor, and heads into the into the jungle and follows him. And he seems to know where he's going, but there's no path, no road. And as the group travels through the, through the jungle, they, they take in the sights of the incredibly tall trees and the vines connecting the, the trees to the bushes. And they see animals leaping about in the canopy and birds jumping from tree to tree to bush to bush. But then as they go... They see fewer and fewer, and the, di and the sky is getting darker. And then, just as they start to feel the first rain droplets on their arms, they, they clear a, a row of trees and see a tall tower in a clearing with a satellite dish. It looks, looks to be about three stories tall. 
and it looks a lot like a hostel in the middle of the jungle. Here it is, the gem in the jungle. This is my home, and it can be yours for the night. Please do you get hot ball on that thing? Uh, we do have the hollow net, um, assuming all is well, but I have this strange feeling that all is not well. We, we should hurry, and it's starting to rain. We should hurry. I'm going to kind of follow closely behind him and say, my, my Kaldorian friend, do you have a, a, a name? I feel silly calling you by your oh, race. Goodness gracious. I, I apologize. I should not, should very well have told you my name. I am Zosh Shin. I am Zosh Shin. I am the owner of the gen, gem in the jungle. And I, I you know, spend my days here taking care of this and hunting and, and, and gathering from the fort, from the jungle and, I do take part in a little bit of trade from time to time. I should have very well introduced myself. I just, I wanted to get moving. I knew we only had a few hours to move. Hey, and also everybody, watch your watch your fucking language because my mother's in the chat. Okay, oh, just wanted to let oh. you know. <laughs> Set the example there. Jesus. <laughs> You had me, like, really confused. I was like, oh, my God, I better watch it. Wait, he just said fuck. <laughs> I don't even know what to say, and that never happens to me. That is, okay. That, well, hi, his mom. <laughs> uh, anyway. Hello, um, also so, his mom. <laughs> so, uh, my, my friend Za, um, once we get inside, maybe we can uh, talk about the Imperials on this planet, because, uh, well, we seem to be at odds with them ourselves. Oh, well, there is a lot to say about the Imperials on this planet. I will be happy to tell you what I know, but let's hurry. My, my instincts are rarely wrong. Let's go. Everyone's not, everyone's agreeing to go. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. I'm already like on the way. <laughs> he's already, My... he's, he's already <laughs> drinking. He's already in Strike half Strike half is, is, is now many yards ahead of the group, and the rest hurried to, to catch up. And upon reaching the door, they open the Zoss opens the door, and the group all step through the berth of in, uh, of the doorway, and they see a, a a room, a circular room filled with many tables, and on the far end, a bar. And to the right of the bar, a stairwell leading up. But all is not well. In the table just to the left of the doorway, it's smashed in. And everyone can see a Mon Calamari, which Emily is like a giant fish person. God damn it, it's a trap. You see a Mon Calamari uh, seemingly um, un unmoving on top of the table. And... In the over the bar, slumped over the bar, they see an aqualish, which looks like a large wal walrus person. Uh, uh, slumped over the bar, and at this Zosh Shin rushes over to the man, the the Mon Calamari, on the floor, and begins and begins uh, trying to to care for him, and 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 kind of shakes him up, says, and he says, "Bib, Bib, wake up, Bib," and at that. Uh, the man, the man coughs. The Mon Calamari coughs. He says, oh, 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 "Oh, everyone, run!" Oh, and then he he he, he gets he's startled, but and then Zoshin says, "You're fine, Bib. You're fine. Goodness gracious, what happened here? Well, we were chased upon. There was a a traveler came in the door, and he attacked me." What did, he, what did he attack you with? I don't know. I don't know what he attacked me with. He, 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 he came in the door and he just had his. Blood of some sort. And then I was choking. I don't know why I was choking. And, and, and then I was lifted off my feet. And then I felt myself thrown to the ceiling. And then that was the last thing I remember. So I'm going to look over at Dorian 
and say, isn't that what your people do? Isn't that what you have a sword like that? I'm going to, I'm going to say, um, yes, indeed. And if memory serves, uh, that was, uh, the same report on the ship we just left. Uh, someone with a red energy blade. So do I, do you know this person? Um, I, I don't want to bring any undue alarm to anyone here in the group, but, uh, Red lightsaber usually means Sith. The last Sith died some... How many years ago was that, uh, uh, Dungeon Master? Seven uh, years? Approximately 12 years. Approximately 12? About 12 oh, no, years seven ago. Years, seven years. Seven, you're right, you're right. Seven, about, sorry. about seven years ago when the Death Star was blown up. Um... Yeah, I should have stayed in the mud. Um, I was laughing about that too, sorry. <laughs> uh, the, the, if there's a Sith presence somewhere on this planet, it is my duty to hunt, to, to seek them out. Um, there's no good that can, be, that can come of Sith. So um, these are your people, no. or these uh -huh. are not your people. Is this a uh, bad guy? I'm gonna I'm gonna stop and go. I keep I keep forgetting that you you have a, a memory loss. Uh, there are two sides of the force. There's the light side and the dark side. Uh, I belong to the Jedi that espouses to uphold the light side of the force. We we're always looking to uphold what is good and righteous in the world uh the sith seek their power through pain and anger and deceit um, oh that's horrible it it is uh my master did not think that the sith were still around he thought that the sith were destroyed you seem to think otherwise though the uh, evidence in front of us seems that there is someone wandering around here with force abilities and a red lightsaber. I can't I can't ignore this at all. I don't think any of us can. What should we do? Theory. Possibly we should at least secure the area to make sure he is nowhere close in ambush. But that would just be something I would do. Could um, we I'm... defeat him even if we saw him? Uh, I am force sensitive, which means I can make a wisdom check uh, DC 20 to avoid surprise. Would I be able to do that to sense if if he is close by or if this perpetrator is close by waiting to surprise us, I guess? Sure. Uh, I mean, I... it's a a 20 I'd have to roll, so... You're, you're not under duress right now, so we're going to assume that you can you can do that, okay, without um, okay, any challenge. Cool. Um, Wonderful. And you, there's, you don't sense anything dangerous immediately around you. Wonderful. <laughs> and Video Game Mermaid, I, uh, um, actually is one of my favorite phrases, <laughs> so that's perfect. Did Jawa said something? Can I use a uh, gather information? Yeah. Um... Translation. What, what, Apparently, what? my master saw what this guy did on the ship. He suggests we all run away. I'm, I'm gonna uh, ready look for at some sleep. I'm gonna look at Neep and go, my little friend. I understand your trepidation and fear, but unfortunately, I think we are on a path that is that will lead us in the direction of this person um i don't think that we'll be able to get away from it uh we are we are linked through something some something brought us all together on this ship <laughs> is he Talk coming to tonight oh. no then i don't I need a so. drink and some sleep yes i re i recommend that we all 
get as much rest and relaxation as possible because something is on the wind. Okay, uh, so um, you said you wanted to do gather information for Tog, but what did you want to use that for? Um, I guess to see if there's, there's anything left behind. Okay. Or, or, I don't know. Sure. Uh, I, you would probably, I think for something like that, you would use search. Search? If you're looking, yeah, you would use it. If you, if you don't have a skill, anyone can do that. It would just be using it on yeah, I, I have a search. Okay. Um, so while you do that, uh, Zosh Shin, you go ahead and roll for that if you want. And you add your, let me see what you add. You add your Dude. intelligence to that and your rank. Um, while he's rolling for that, um, Zosh Shin stands up and, and, and uh, he helps Bib to his feet. And goes over to the Aqualish at the bar quickly. Says, and, he, and he tries to pat the person on the back to see if they're okay. And the person quickly wakes up and goes... Rrr, 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 and, then, and then starts smashing a button. Starts smashing a button on, on, their, on, on their wrist that says, No! 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 Please! No! I'm sorry! I'm sorry! And Zashin says, no, no, it's okay, it's okay, Uda, it's fine, just calm down, it's okay, you're gonna, you're okay now. Can, the, can I try to translate his language? <laughs> what was that? Oh, yes, you can try to translate, you gotta roll for it. Roll for it in, in, in the chat, I wanna see it. Uh... You need a 15 or higher, you add your intelligence. Let's see, Um, what was, um... I got I a, know, it was a six. Six, Okay. Okay. Oh, you had a nine. Oh, no, wait, not a six. Okay. Uh -huh. a, a top six. Okay, so you look around the room. Uh, so while, while he's doing that, Tog Sida looks around the room uh, while, while Zoss is crossing the room, and he looks around, and he sees, uh, other than the broken table and some, some, some cups left on the tables, other tables, and, the, and the, the strewn utensils and flatware on the bar where the Aqualish was sitting, uh, he doesn't see anything except for a couple bottles of liquor on the wall behind the bar. But no, but no other signs of of anything else. Um, he does he does he does see where the the Mon Calamari smashed his skull on the ceiling. Um, there's a mark on the ceiling, but other than that, he doesn't pick up anything else. And then uh, let me see, Eric Erm. Did did HK pass his little check? He did. Okay. So he so uh let me um <laughs> I text you. Uh, well, essentially, okay. So w w I'll text you everything else she says, okay? Because she she pretty much said everything That's she fine. wanted to say with the words, yeah. <laughs> with the, with the, with the machine. Um, Don't worry about it. Very good. But, uh, sorry, I'll put it in. I'll put it in the Skype chat. Um. So uh, she says. <laughs> Zashen says, "Oh my God! All that happened! Jeez!" <laughs> I'm putting in chat. Which chat? Uh, the, the oh, I, I guess I'm putting in roll twenty. I'm I'm an idiot. Let <laughs> <laughs> I me mean, just put it all. Uh, yeah, I can read it, it. You can read it. Sorry. <laughs> We're great at this. <laughs> I was like, once again, I don't even understand what's. I don't get this technology. I'm so glad. <laughs> was any I was attacked. I was interrogated by the man. I gave him everything. Oh, can it's okay. Me, can you show me on the Jedi where he touched you? <laughs> oh, and she, she, she touches her throat, and uh, and that's it. What information was this hooded figure looking for? <laughs> no, no, she smashes the button. I'm sorry. 
Translation. I think I've said enough to strangers for one day. Amendment. Oh, I think you think that's all you've said today. Just wait a moment. I need medical attention. I need medical attention. I don't speak basic. Pushing buttons on on her wrist communicator, and Zoshin looks at the group and says, "I think the Uda here is very friendly, considering the terrible nature of this planet. But I think she she's been through enough for one day. You think you can save your interrogations for another time, perhaps when she's more willing?" I'll um uh, I'll look at um Zoss and go. Uh, absolutely. I do not mean any offense. Um, please, uh, uh, convey my condolences. Um, do you have a, a place that's secluded where I can meditate? Oh, well, of course. Uh, she, she, she understands basic, so she understands every word you're saying. She just can't speak it. She has the, the, the modulator on her arm, the, the alien enhancer device on her arm that she she uses to communicate simple phrases but she 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 does understand you so she okay. understands your sentiments uh upstairs there are rooms upstairs um it is a hostel so the beds are shared um there was one other guest here uh, uh Seisk. Uh, bib have you seen have you seen Seisk? is Seisk is Seisk okay have you did you see what happened oh they, they're off I, I think it was upstairs. Uh, he, he wasn't out here when the guy came to talk. Uh, I think he said he was upstairs. I'm going to... So, you might not be alone up there. I can't promise you'll be alone. <laughs> um, in, actually, in, in the back, behind the bar, there's a door there. And if you go in there, there there is a... there that That's my cook... My my my, my kitchen. You can you could probably find peace there. But I, I, I urge you not to... Not to arrange or mess with anything in there, please. But you may use the space for your meditation for whatever need you have for it. I go, absolutely, but per perchance, maybe we should check on this other patron that you have upstairs. Uh, I absolutely if... agree. Bib, can you go upstairs and check on him? Well, of course I can. Of course, anything for you. And he goes up the steps. I'm gonna follow very, very closely, and I'm gonna have, I'm gonna keep my, um, my lightsaber, like my hand on my lightsaber, but not like take it off the hilt or anything. Okay. It's kind of like. Um, Strike. What, what are you doing? Uh, I'm gonna uh, saunter up to the bar and look for a Tatooine sunburn. You friend look like a man who needs a drink. This one's on me. Next one, that's, maybe that's... you buy for me, yeah. huh? And he hands he hands him a bottle from from the top of the shelf top shelf there. Josh, thank does. you, my friend. Oh, you're you're more than welcome. The best I I know what it means to be in hard times. And uh, Tweak, what are you doing? I am. I'm gonna go with. Um... Oh, I don't even know what your name is, Wildstar. And um, I'm going to go get a drink with him. I'm going to actually, no, I'm going to ask him. I'm going to look over and go, so these drinks, are they really as good as you're making them out to be? They are absolutely terrible. But they make you feel pretty damn good. Okay, I don't know what that means, but I'll give it a shot. So I'm going to go drink with him. Zashin sees you both sit down. He pulls two glasses from behind the bar, puts them up there. And he says, I'm going to go. I'd like to go check on my guest with Bib and make sure everything's okay upstairs. But I, sh I assume that you can handle yourselves with this bottle. Do, do, can you put the hot ball game on? Oh, sure. 
And so at that, he, he reaches behind the bar and turns on the hollow projector and and flips to the, the channel of the Republic hotball game, which is uh, interrupted far too frequently with uh, videos of propaganda from the New Republic. <clears throat> And I'm going to look over at him and say, can you help me figure out how much I should drink and how much I shouldn't? Well, <laughs> what is she, a college girl? I'm going to say you probably only want to drink a very little bit. Is that and just with, because you want the rest to yourself? And with that, I'm going to reach over and I'm going to grab her glass and pour some into mine and leave her about like that much and say, <laughs> trust me, sister. That's all you need. If you've forgotten who you are now, if you drink that whole glass, you're never coming back. Statement. Yes, Master, Fair you enough. go hide and keep yourself safe. I will go join the Jedi upstairs. Oh, joy. So so what did Neep do? going to go hide. In response to that? Okay. So like uh, under a table uh, or something? No, more like uh, any air vent or whatever he can squeeze his ass into. Okay. <laughs> so Neep uh, looks, surveys the room very quickly, um, frantically, and he does find an air vent near the far corner, near where they came in. In that corner, it's a circular room, sorry. Uh, it near near the, the door where they came in. Uh, he quickly pulls out his toolkit, undoes all the screws without questioning or asking, and then puts... Climbs inside and puts the the grate back on top, okay. and, and that's where he is. You need some sticks over there, Nip. Nip. <laughs> nice. All right, so Tog, what were you at? Um, I guess. I think I'm. I think Tog's gonna try to. Uh find a place and try to forge up some uh, Imperial passes. Interesting. You know, just in case. So I think um, if he wants to do that, he would have to find some sort of um, materials to do that. Yeah. Um, I don't... But this might be the place for that. Yeah, I think... This uh, is a hostel, and he said he trades. Yeah, so I think looking around for... Uh... Oh, I guess I could do some trading. He said he was going to go check. So Zoss, Zoss sees you looking around. Are you looking for something, friend? Something maybe I could help you with? Uh, looking maybe for some parchment, some uh, some writing materials, uh, uh, maybe uh, any Imperial symbols you might have around. There's no judgments here, friend. I'm not a friend to the Imperials or the Huts who make this place their home. Is there something more specific you'd like to tell me about your need? Perhaps I can help you a little bit more. Uh, well, as you know, we're not supposed to be on this planet at the moment. I was thinking perhaps there might be uh, some passes or something we could whip up to help move more freely into the city of Earth if so necessary. Hmm. Well, I do have some data cards in the back. If you have some skill in such a thing, perhaps you could, you could, uh, you could perhaps prepare some forged passes that might get you into the gates of Perrine if you have a death wish. Uh, otherwise, I will tell you, there are Imperial scouts that patrol these areas, and they do occasionally visit our hostel. I'm not expecting them today or tomorrow. But your ship crashing, their ship crashing, not too far from here, does make me concerned for tomorrow. I would recommend you could, you, I could sell you some data cards and you can do your business as you see fit. Or perhaps you could chance yourself upon those scouts and secure your own passes that are maybe a little bit more, uh, less likely to receive scrutiny. Since but... But Since I, you did uh, so helpful already, certainly. perhaps we'll uh, do some business and see what happens anyway. Very good. Well, you know, even for whatever reason you want to use these data cards, you can put anything on them. Any programs you want to install into a data pad. Uh, perhaps you can use those programs to reprogram your droid there for something ah, that's that more useful. Help. 
than sardonic statements. Mm. So, felt like a more uh, I sure hope user I'm friendly. <laughs> You've gone upstairs. <laughs> Thank goodness. Uh, so yeah, uh, uh, the, the, the the data cards. Uh, give me a moment. Let me just check my inventory here. <laughs> Definitely not flipping through the rule book to figure out how much these things cost. <laughs> uh, I found it. Thank God for flagging pages. All right. Um, oh, they're very cheap. So, um, I would say so. They're very cheap, these, these data <clears throat> cards. I can sell them to you for 15 credits apiece, as many as you need. But I have some skill in forgery myself, and I think I know what you're trying to do. I know just how to make the thing you want, but it would cost you 50 credits for each. And I can make sure that they are the best facsimile to a imperial, imperial ID card. No, uh, I don't mean to diminish your skill. I'm sure you're very skilled. What if we say 30 credits apiece and I help you make it? That way you'll be able to get back to tending to your other guests. I find that deal more than acceptable. How many How many we, what do we want to make? Uh, need one for, one for every member of the party, I believe. Very good. So that would be six of you. Six. You don't need one for the droid, I assume. That would be five. Yeah. The Jawa is not going to be convincing as an Imperial. Neither are you, any of you, without armor. Are you sure of this plan? I don't want to take their money foolishly. You will not uh, be able to walk through those doors the way you look now. I might be able to whip up with the skies of sorts. You are an Athorian. <laughs> you, there are no Athorians that I've ever met in the Imperial base. Or it seen might... come in or out of it. What if, we put, the, what if we put the Nato Jawa... Perhaps get us in with, in with the huts instead. That might be another option for moving forward. Uh, you're, you're interested in the huts? Well, I will tell you, I don't know much of the dealings of the huts. I only trade them foodstuffs. I do not try to encourage them with weapons or any sort of illicit goods I might happen to come across. But I will, I will tell you that one of our guests... Uh, Assuming he's okay, I, I haven't heard any screaming yet or anything from upstairs, so I'm assuming that he is okay. Um, and Bib would tell me certainly if there was anything wrong. Uh, Seisk, our our guest upstairs, has some dealings with the Huts. I would recommend you speak with him. He could tell you a great deal about what they want, maybe don't want. Let's, I'll I'll do the deal on the uh, data cards, and we'll be a good backup plan just in case. Very good. That will be. Four data cards. You want one from the Jawa? That, you know, I, that's, I don't. I don't. I, I think four four data cards should should work for now. Very good. That'll be one hundred and twenty credits. I'm happy happily do that. We perhaps we can go in the back room and work on it together. Uh, did did um here I'm meta game. I'm the game master meditating. Is that weird? Um did yeah. um did did Doran go upstairs or did he go in the back room to meditate? He he followed. Um... Okay, he went upstairs. Got it. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so um, I should be paying attention to that kind of stuff. There's six of you. Give me a break. No one's giving me a hard time. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. you, I, I assure you, you are the only one giving giving yourself a hard time. <laughs> Very good. All right, so uh, at that, um, did you take the 20, 120 credits off yeah. your sheet? Okay, cool. Um, the two go back into the kitchen. Uh, going into the kitchen, talk Dodd sees just a kitchen. It's got all kinds of food stuffs. Um, there are Tog is pretty. Actually, let's go ahead and roll a spot check if you want. Do you want to roll a spot check? See what I'll else you might see check. beyond what's normal. Okay. So Tog Cedad sees around the room and he sees. Uh, mostly foodstuffs, but he does see two locked caches, um, containers, uh, large, l rather large containers. And he sees one small, small locked container, but it's over on the desk in the room, which I'll, is in the far corner of the room. I'll make a mental note of that. Well, they appear to be locked. You don't know, but they, they look like something that would be locked. Um, all right. So... 
we're going to now move to the other group and assume that those guys are working. Does that work for you, Todd? Very good. Um, I think we've covered everyone on the bottom floor. Let's go up to the top, top floor. So uh, the first person to go up was Bib, right? And then Doran followed him. Followed closely behind by Doran. Right, and followed closely behind by HK. Not that closely. Not that close, but eventually. I, I don't really care. Very good. <laughs> I'll, I'll try to make your entrance interesting. Um, and then who else? Did anyone else go upstairs? Nobody else, right? Everyone else is downstairs. Yep, okay, great. So as they go up the steps, they come into a room, and the room, is, again, is circular. It's because the whole tower is circular. And they see bunk beds lining the walls, and there are two bunk beds in the middle. So it looks like the room can comfortably sleep, sleep about 10 people. Um, laying on one bed at the farthest, farthest from the from them, from the group, at the, from the top of the stairs, is a Bothan. It is a Bothan male, wearing standard spacer clothes, nondescript. And he seems unfazed at all. And, and Bib is the first one that sees him. And you, but everyone except for HK3R, you're going to see this when you come up, but those, just Doran and Bib see this, and Bib goes, Cease, are you okay over there? And Cease says, of course I am. Did something happen? Are you kidding? We were attacked. Oh, I didn't notice. Yes, I'm fine. Thank you. All right, well. I keep talking to him. I'm going downstairs. He seems fine. Yeah, are you okay up here, Jedi? Can I get you anything? Maybe some dinner or something? Uh, please just tend to the needs of the rest of the party. I will be fine. Very good. I'm, I'm going to go downstairs. So he goes down the stairs. I'm going to... Um, what was this uh, uh, This Bothan's name again? Seesk. Seesk. I'm going to walk over to him and say, Seesk, I, I, I find it very odd that with all of the commotion downstairs you didn't hear anything the Boskin the Bothan looks over to you while still laying on his pillow and says I find it very odd that you talk to people you don't know in a hostel in a strange environment of course I heard things downstairs but you think I'm stupid enough to get involved Well, that is uh, your prerogative, whether or not you wish to get involved, but uh, I do not have that luxury. It seems that someone who may or may not be hunting me and my compatriots was the perpetrator of this attack, and I would like to know more about it. Uh, any information that you can let me know, anything that you may have seen or heard, whether it be something you consider minuscule and importance could be very important to me. Well, lucky for you, the walls are not exactly thick here. And I happen to have a window seat. But, I don't know if you've been in the galaxy ever, but information is not free. Um, well, if it's credits you're looking for, I, I don't have much to offer. I could offer you 50 credits for your information. 50 credits will get you 50 credits worth of information. But I'll take your 50 credits. Query. Let me see them. Sir, may I attend to this meat bag? I will... Of course, get any information you need. Huh, and I'm gonna... with, with that, I'm using my, uh, bluff. So I'm going to try to okay. bluff. Sure, go ahead and roll your bluff check. Yeah. I thought I had intimidation, but... I thought you did, too. You don't have intimidation? Apparently not. Huh. Sometimes, level one, you got to make some trade-offs. <laughs> yeah. I also thought I had diplomacy, but I don't. Oh well. Uh, I need to quickly look up something. Oh, Wait a minute. Bluff to. And uh, it's your rank. Uh, 
plus the stat, the modifier. Uh, so yeah, you're gonna roll your your stat modifier plus your rank. Yep. Okay. Oh, oh wow. boy. Well, I must say I'm not roll. exactly threatened by your droid. Though you could have mentioned that you had a droid. You're lucky he... I want your credits. Go ahead. If you still want to make this trade, I've got some information for 50 credits. But I don't think your droid is as dangerous as he pretends to be. I, too, would like to use Bluff. I'm going to hand him the 50 credits, and I'm going to say... the. You seem like a very intelligent person. Uh, do you remember the emperor and the terror that he wrought the person that we are chasing very well could espouse the exact same ideals as the former emperor and any information you uh, have would go a long way to keeping a person like you in the shadows so that's you... how I'm going to bluff. I'm not going to intimidate him. I'm going to try to sweet talk him, so to so to speak. Okay, got it. But you did offer him the fifty. Credit? I still gave I still gave him the fifty credits. I'm trying to get more than fifty credits worth of information out of him. Okay, on on the basis that that he will have he will be able to hide. Oh, if if you eliminate the threat, he will be able to hide from the threat. So right. Got it. Mm -hmm. Got it. Okay. I feel like you're doing the uh, Bernie Sanders. Like, I am asking you once again to yeah. tell me about all the Siths. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so let's so, see. So he takes your 50 two. credits, quickly pockets it into his pocket, and says, of course I remember the Emperor. Does anyone not remember the Emperor? That's a stupid question. I will tell you. Oh, I got I... 11 on my roll, by the way. Let me, let me just roll for him. Okay. Uh, I do not think that you have the capacity in your current state to defeat whatever it was that attacked downstairs. I'm not sure that you can really protect me. And giving you this information might very well be the end of me if it comes back to me. But what I can tell you, I'm not going to tell you much. Everything I know. I, I know more. But I can tell you this. He came from the north. Through the northern door downstairs. You came in through the south. I saw a ship land north of here. Some distance. But it was not a sh an imperial ship and it was not one of the huts. This was a single starfighter. I highly suspect that this traveler came from that ship. And this is more than you deserve, but you're broke. So whatever, make it worth your while. Uh, I heard him asking the stupid Aquilish downstairs about the the vaults underneath the monastery, the you know the the Hutt's palace, and he was looking for some other way in than the front door. I don't know. I didn't hear anything else. I didn't care. That's all I got. Do you now, have any dealings? Do you have any dealings with the Hutt's? I think you're out of money, aren't you, friend? And that means I'm out of information. Well, I would consider I I would I would hope you'd consider yourself lucky that I am not like the person who came through here before. But well, I do appreciate the information that you have given me. Now I shall take my leave of you. Good. And then I just turn I turn around, I don't even pay him any more mind or attention, and I just walk back downstairs. And I'm HK... gonna look at him for a moment. Okay. <laughs> Fucking recitation. <dick>. <laughs> and then turn around and get, walk away. She just destroyed just make... trying to spit me. <laughs> I'm gonna look at HK um three RM and go, you know, usually I find your humor very grating, but that made me feel good. That made me feel really good. Thank you. 
<laughs> Mr. Belvedroid. <laughs> so everybody comes downstairs. And, uh... So Doran comes downstairs first and then followed by HK3RM. And he see they all see their friends sitting at the bar, drinking, watching Hutball with too many New Republic commercials. But Neep is nowhere to be found. And neither is Tog Sidot or Zosh Shin. The Aqualish uh, settle, er, is, is, is kind of collecting herself and then she makes her way past Doran Vorld without without being aggressive or, or bumping anything and just goes past him up the up the stairs to, to, to the to the dorm, dormitories area. I can't hear you, you're muted. Please, please rest well, my my perturbed friend. She hits a button and it says I don't speak basic. I don't speak basic. Yes. I, yes. I, yes. I okay. understand. <laughs> And then turns around and goes upstairs. I'm going to come down and kind of like sit down at the bar. Um, it has um, Tog and um, uh, Zosh come back from the kitchen. Or are they still back there working? Yep. You didn't actually see them go in the kitchen. I know, but I'm just, I'm saying, are, are they, are, do I see them or do I not see them? How about that? You don't see them. Okay, okay. Uh, I'm going to, um, I'm going to look at um, Strike and go, this, uh, I'm afraid that our time here might only get worse. You have uh, a little bit left in that bottle for, for, for me? Sure thing, man. I'm going to kind of like reach behind the bar and kind of like look for a glass and just kind of set it down in front of me. So you have enough for him, but not enough for me. Is that what you're saying? Well, pretty much because, uh, Oh, thanks. You, your you will end up on the floor and God knows what will happen to you. Him. I think he can handle himself and take care of himself. Maybe you work your way up sister. You'll, you'll be ready. I'm looking out for you, whether you realize it now or not. This isn't my first Tatooine sunburn. All right. Well, I guess I'll have to take your word for it. Commentary. Oh, you'll all end up on the floor, if not six feet under soon enough. I'm going to look around and go, where's the rest of... Where's Tog and, and our host? And where's my little Jawa friend? Uh, he made a nest up in the vent somewhere. Oh, Nee, please, you can come You can come down from wherever you are. I assure you, whoever was here attacking uh, this place is not is not here now. I, I, I can promise you. Objection. Leave him be. If he stays up there, I have more freedom to do what I want to do. Not what the stupid master wants me to do. Hmm. I'm going to have to recommend to my friend Neep here that uh, maybe a memory wipe would uh, do, do you some, some good. Theory. Huh. That would not be too good of an idea. Some people must rest. Who knows what may happen during those times? Well. Oh, he's got you there. <laughs> so I'm you're gonna... sleeping outside, Tin Bin? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to kind of chuckle a little bit. <laughs> tin Bin, that's a good one. Uh, I'm going to finish the rest of my, my sunburn, set the glass down, and then go, well... Our host told me I could go into the back room to meditate. I uh, I have much to meditate on, and I'll kind of just walk back behind the bar and open the door, and I'm assuming opening the bar into the kitchen and seeing both. You uh, open the bar into the kitchen, car door into the kitchen, and you see Tog Sidod and Zosh Shin at 
his desk, at Zashin's desk in the far end of the corner of the room, and they appear to be working diligently at something. You see the room is filled with pots and pans and other cooking utensils and cooking materials and things used to make meals. And you also see, um, I think that, that's it, unless you want to roll to see something more. I'm going to go, please don't, um, uh, don't pay me any mind. I'll just be over here in the corner meditating, and then I'm just going to kind of slink into a secluded corner, get a little, uh, what's it called now, crisscross applesauce. But all we heard now? Was, uh, all we heard was <laughs> Well did you hear something? <laughs> I'm I'm gonna go over to uh to wait. Se- secluded corner and uh just recharge batteries, I guess. So you're gonna shut that you're gonna shut down and, and, and start recharge? Yeah, why not? So the droid walks over to the corner uh, without saying anything else to anybody after that threat and shuts itself down. <laughs> yes, that horribly worded threat, which is a theory. I thought it was a good threat. <laughs> I thought it was very good. <laughs> so what are you folks at the bar going to do? You just, you guys, you guys going to keep drinking? <laughs> Watching the game, watching my credits dwindle down. Yeah, I'm just gonna stay and hang out. On just on the bar in front of you. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, I'm sorry. I said no. Just... I want no. I want to hear what your thing was because it's more important. Me? Yeah. Oh, I said I was just gonna stay and observe. That's all. Sorry. Oh, okay, so you're just watching the game as well. Yeah, okay. I'm just gonna. I'm I'm sitting there, but I'm I'm not observing the game as much as I'm observing everything that's going on around me. Okay. Can you roll a Constitution check for me, Emily? Or are you capable of rolling things right now? Yeah. Roll twenty. Okay. So go ahead and roll me a D twenty and add your Constitution modifier, which is the print the number in parentheses next to your Constitution. <clears throat> and 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 uh, Strike should roll for this as well. Okay. I'm sorry. What am I rolling? You're going to roll 1d20, and you're going to add to it whatever your constitution modifier is. Okay. What happened to my d20? Constitution is 15 plus 2. Okay, so you get plus 2 to whatever your roll is. You're going to add plus 2 to your roll. Okay. And my roll was, wait, did I already roll? Oh, you did. Yeah, you did great. Wow, you did really good. Okay, so um, yep. So you got seventeen, but two to that. Did um, you, did you roll for strike? Yeah. Okay, so strike also gets a seventeen. So he's a little bit. So after drinking her one drink that you poured for her, uh, Tweak is feeling fine and doesn't understand. Well, I'm not going to speak for. Well, she, she she should not understand what you were talking about about being that being enough alcohol to do anything. And then um, but you and you strike while Star drank a whole glass. And um, feel the same. Uh, g- generally, like nothing's happened to you at all. Like you wish you had seventeen more of these to do anything at all. <laughs> Go ahead. I was really hoping one of you would fail that. <laughs> <laughs> What's up? Okay. You oh, just wanted got... us to be tanked on the floor. Thanks, you got... Chris. I don't think you guys. Okay, wait. Who else? Yeah, well, that's. Uh, you're thinking of Wednesday night. Wednesday right. night when half of the players are <laughs> drunk and on the floor. Yeah. Amazing. <laughs> These guys obviously can hold their booze, so better than me. All right, so the, the, the game goes on, and they see that, that the, the Red Wing Tangers um, win the game. And then the game... Who are the, they fighting? Who are, who, who are they playing? Uh, the, the, yellow, the yellow barbels. So the Red Wing... Damn it, you're writing it down. <laughs> I have to write it down in my lore. <laughs> Tanners? Tangers. Was it the Tanners? Tangers. 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 Red, Red Wing Tangers. And the yellow something? Barbels. Barbels? There are, there are actually hutball uniforms you can get in uh, Old Republic. Amazing. Oh my god, are you serious? Wow. That's inc- incredible. Wow. I can't believe I have... I, why would I say <clears throat> Actually, oh wait, I can't, I can't give away the, the, the mystery of that. Anyway, it's a, those are real hutball teams. So the, um, the, 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 the Red Wing... T- Twangers. Is it twangers? I said twangers, right? It should be twangers. Oh, I said tangers should be twangers. Sorry. This is important. 
because it's a quote. Um, all right. The Red Wing Twangers win the game by one. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it seems the strike is, is, is less than pleased about this. Uh, and um, oh, I missed an opportunity there. It's fine. Next time. Uh, and then, the, then it proceeds into what seems like an endless stream of, of New Republic. And surprisingly, um, a hut and an Imperial commercials rotating amongst all the Holland Holland channels. Like the Holland channel is just bought up by everybody. You're muted, buddy. That's, that's free market capitalism, baby. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> Right. So, uh, Zosh Shin and Toxie Dodd finish their their job, and Zosh goes, I think that's as good as it's going to get. Though I strongly recommend that you do not go into that base through the front door. All right. I, it won't come cheap to you, but I think that our guest, Sisk, may have an easier way in that doesn't require you to use your your passes as a primary approach i think these passes could serve to to protect you in a last ditch sort of effort to not be captured by the imperials but if you want if you're desperate to get into that horrible city then i i strongly recommend you speak to Sisk. he um. he has gotten in there at least once before that I'm aware of. Do um do I hear this since I'm back there meditating? Certainly. I'm unless, going to unless somehow you're really really <laughs> I'm deep. Gonna, I'm gonna I'm gonna snap myself out of the meditation and um and go. Ah uh, yes, the Bothan upstairs is uh, a wealth of information if you can afford it. Mm, most certainly. Uh, I have uh, does not come cheap on Teth. Yep, I, I'm gonna go. Um, unfortunately, I think while initially we wanted to go to the the Imperial base, I feel that the the Hut Temple or the place where the Huts uh, run their business out of is actually where we're going to need to go. I think. That that place is equally as dangerous, but if you have business there, there is a great deal of money going through that crime, that crime, that crime organization. I mean, without a question, it is not, mm. it is not legal business going through that palace. But I, and I, if you if you seek that sort of monetary gain, I am passing no Dutch judgments. Do you know anything about the temple under uh, the uh, the vault underneath? The temple, the vault. I know not know not about a vault, but I do know that that temple has been here since before the Tethian farmers developed their their extraordinary plains, the, the, developed the extraordinary agriculture throughout the plains. They that palace predates just about everything on this planet. I know that the the under parts of the palace are less traversed than the upper parts where the hot rungus prefers to inhabit. I, I do not think I do not think he spends much time in the lower parts. So if there was a vault with some sort of assuming some sort of valuable thing, it would be there. It would not be where he is. He would have found it. Or if he found it, which is very likely, I suspect he would have ex would have checked out the building. If he has found this thing, there's something keeping him from getting it. Well, if it's in the I... vaults. But, so if there are vaults, I fully expect them to be empty. Well, I am. I have a reason to believe that whoever attacked uh, this establishment before we arrived, and whoever destroyed the ship that brought us here is looking for something of value underneath 
the temple of the huts and uh i, I tell you feel it's up. my yep, i feel it's my duty to stop him my friend i i hope that you fulfill that duty this the damage that he's done to my good friends here for no good reason as far as i can tell that 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 sort of dastardly act there's there's we need no more, more of that in the galaxy i i wish to support you in that the quest that you were on, but I, I do not think you are ready. Well, I'm, I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk up a little bit closer to um, to Zosh and go. Uh, maybe there is something you could do. Um, your, your friend who is very shooken up. Uh, I believe. He was in, or she was interrogated by this figure for any knowledge that she might have about this vault. I do not wish to have her be interrogated by yet another stranger as that seems to be a trigger for her. Maybe sometime tonight you could see if she'd be willing to divulge any of that information to you. It would be of great help. I think I can do this for you. I, I find that your, your ambitions are true. And good. That is something I can stand behind. And I know that is good for the people here. My patrons and myself and my friends. Yes, I will do this for you. I will speak to her this evening. But you, you, if you are going on this insane journey, it is insane. You are facing something that, I mean, this, you heard the man. You heard Bib. He said he was choked and lifted off the ground by nothing. You want to face that head on. I I applaud your courage, but I think you are insane, good friend. But I desperately am sure, I am sure that no one else will do what you want. Do, do force skills work like regular skills? Like if I'm not, like if I don't have it, I can still kind of use it, just not as well. Because I kind of, I kind of, as he says, like, like this person could do this, this, and this. I kind of just want to like use the force to lift a pot, like something so inconsequential. As just he to... frantically flips through the pages. <laughs> yeah, right. Just, uh, just yes, you know. there are some you can use untrained. Let me see. Move object. Yes, you can use Wonderful. that untrained. So I just, I just want to in inconsequentially just move like a pot up in the air and say, "See, my friend, uh, I too Wait, have." Hey, uh, it's, it's, uh, uh, um, since you're not trained, I think you do have to roll for that, though. That's so fine. Just go ahead and roll for it. Um, you're just a pot, right? Okay. Yeah, just a pot. So it's gonna cost you one vitality. Um, you're gonna add your intelligence modifier. Okay. Eighteen. You're good. So, uh, Doran Vorlt then looks at a, at a nearby pot. And centers himself, closes his eyes, feels the force inside of him, and extends himself out to the pot. <laughs> it wiggles. It wiggles. And then it's ripped off the wall, flown around the room in two circles, and it places itself back on the wall neatly and hangs itself. I, I too, have abilities. Oh, goodness gracious. Well, good friend, I, you must be the hero we need in this situation. I will do what I can to help you and your party. Assuming they are with you, are these your friends? Tog, good friend. Uh, yeah, I'm going oh. to roll bluff as well. Uh, you're checking. Oh, you're going to try to bluff? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Get a good bluff. Get a good bluff. Mm. Uh, fifteen. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. We're 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 all good friends. We've we've been together for quite a while. If anyone, uh, if anyone's gonna fix your problems, it's definitely gonna be uh, old old uh, uh, uh Doran here. Yeah, Doran. Hmm. Well, Doran, I must say you keep interesting company. 
this Ithorian is clearly lying to me for some reason. I don't understand why, but he is definitely lying to me. Um, but I do, your, your demonstration of, of, of power is enough to, to sway me, but I am a little nervous about you, Tog. Why would you lie to me? I've just helped you. Um, for time's sake, uh, let's just say that I kind of like, I explain to, um, to Z uh, Zosh pretty much everything that has happened, how we all woke up on this Imperial research vessel and we crash landed on the planet. Um, and we don't really know why we're, we were all brought together, but, um, Oh, well, that sounds to me like something more than happenstance. I agree. I, most question. I unquestionably will help you, but you, you, we will have to be careful. What you're trying to do is very dangerous. You're trying to essentially get into the Hutt's palace. And don't yes. worry, I will not. I will not allow. Uh, if anything, anything improper happens, I, I will make sure that uh, none of this comes back on you. Well, this is a risk I am willing to take. I do hope that me and my friends do not pay the price. But we, we will do what we must. For the right, for the good. Now you, all of you, it is late. You have been through so much. According to your story, you, you survived a crash landing. You were, you were subjects of research. And now, you, I watched you struggle to barely survive the mud pit. The sinking, the sinking mud. <laughs> Go to bed. Get to rest. <laughs> it is a busy day for you tomorrow. I will, I will prepare a nice breakfast for you to, to start off, and hopefully, I will, I will speak to my friend, my friend Uda, and perhaps, hopes I, I can get the information that she shared unwillingly to that unpleasant traveler. There's a one-liner in chat mm -hmm. for Doran. <laughs> Very nice. And I'm going to go back into the corner and start my meditation. And almost as if I'm asking, reaching out and asking the Force. <sighs> Do you ever wonder why we're here? <laughs> <laughs> Is that a reference to something? <laughs> okay, good. It's one of life's greatest mysteries. Okay, well, he just went over and meditated instead of going to bed. Talk, would you go to bed? Could you encourage yeah, yeah. your group? Yeah, it's my understanding that Jedi I really to to don't sleep. need to sleep that much. They can just <laughs> meditate. Yeah, I'll uh, still, go try to... Still... You're still... Oh. Well, I mean, I gotta go to sleep, but I mean, I can just meditate for a little while. I'm gonna do that. Do what you want to. It's fine. I'll, I'll, head, up. I'll head out and uh, head upstairs and take a bed. Thank you. I, I very meditation much want these people to go to thing. bed, so I can clean up and go to bed. I can't I'll go take to bed my till they drink. Do. I will take my drink up to the uh, bedroom. I, as well, will go up into the room. When you guys come upstairs, you said you haven't been up there, you see the room filled with beds and bunk beds, and you and you see Seisk on the, the far bunk bed, but he's asleep now. He's a both, and he looks like, um, like this. I'll put him on screen. He looks you, like you, a dick. He, he does look like a dick. Um, if you if you don't know what a bothan looks like, that's totally cool. He looks like kind of like uh, if you imagine a lion person, he looks kind of like a lion person, a person with lion features. It's the best way I can describe him, or maybe dog like lions. features. Nice. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. He's so sleeping. Cheesy. I love it. Dora is less than died. enthused by this boffin. All right. <laughs> Everyone except for Neep, I think, went up. Oh, no, Doran's still still meditating. Dor Doran's going to be meditating all night. Like he's okay. looking for. Um, okay. Like he's like he's looking for answers. And you guys went to bed. Tweak and, and Strike, right? Yep. Okay. And then Neep. <laughs> Neep sleeping in the vent. <laughs> or he's just going to stay awake. Uh, he's going to wait till most everybody goes to bed, and then he's going to go scavenging. Yep. Around the place? Okay, go, if you want to roll for search, the search search roll, you can. I'll assist him. You're going to wake up when you see him come out? Well, I only have to shut down for one hour. Yeah, you can and... shut down as long as you want, or whatever. All right, but, so... Yeah. 
Oh no, I'm I'm only shutting down to recharge for the one hour. Sure. Because okay. that's all I need. <laughs> Is that what it said on the thing? I, I, I must I shut down to recharge you. one hour every hundred hours. Got it. Okay. Fair enough. Um. All right. So Neep comes out uh, comes out of the grate once everyone goes to bed. Z- well, first off, Zoss goes through and cleans up the room, and and then he goes to bed too. Um. He goes all the way to the third floor, which is his room. And Bib goes up there as well. No one knows why. And then um, uh, uh, Neep comes out of the, out of his grate in, in, in the vent, and he starts looking around the room. He, uh, he doesn't see anything uh, abnormal around the room. Uh, but he does wander into the kitchen, and there he sees the two um, the two caches locked. They're, they're like, like chests star wars type chests and then there's a smaller personal chest personal um locked box on on the desk Remo- uh, removable he sees all those things yeah the box the yeah you can box. take the box if you wanted to okay so he takes the small box it's locked, thank you but... thank you for not doing that in front of the jedi <laughs> um I'll, I'll look hold on can i open it do i have something to open it we're supposed to be. Yeah. We're supposed to be done by now. Can we, can do, we can do this next time. <laughs> Sorry. Right. Right. Okay. So how about we? Um. But I, I wanted to do. But well, there's a cliffhanger. Sorry. I was gonna hang on, but that's fine. Okay. So well, go for well, it. This is gonna happen because you're, you're meditating in the same room, actually. I'm. I thought <laughs> I, I was. I. I didn't leave the kitchen. I'm still in the kitchen. Yeah, he's in the kitchen too. But oh, he took that box. Okay. But but he's sneaky. So. Um. It's all right. I said he succeeded, so he's. I am. I am deep. I you're am deep, deep in meditation. In meditation so you're point. so deep yeah. in meditation that you suddenly, while he takes that box, um, you suddenly. Uh, see a visceral vision. And you see a scene, and it looks like the inside of like a tomb or something. And all on the walls, there's murals carved in the walls, and in the center of the room. <sighs> Is a a cylindrical pillar, and your character, your hands. You see your hands. That's all you see in front of you. See your hands, and your hands reach out, and they touch the pillar, and then the pillar goes up, and then you wake up from your meditation. And let's go ahead and roll a spot check for you, real quick, to be done before we're done. That's just a straight D twenty, right? Mm-hmm. Unless you have spot skill. I do not. Okay. 12. You can add. I think you add. There's a, there's a, there's an ability. Is it a there. wisdom or intelligence? It's wisdom. Wisdom. Uh, then I got a fourteen. Okay. So you you see Neep grabbing the box. And that's it. That's the cliffhanger. <laughs> We're done. That's it for this week. <laughs> Great. Now I have two weeks to decide how I want to react to that. That's perfect. <laughs> Right. Thanks, good. Chris. Well, thank you, guys. I mean, do you guys want experience, or should we? We should. We, we should do that off. We can do that off. To uh, these give folks me. Folks give me experience. They, the the you fans want to know how, how much experience, experience you we didn't get. Okay. So uh, I I I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. I give this out very nonchalantly. <laughs> so you're gonna you're gonna give me what? Uh, eight hundred and forty. <laughs> eight hundred and thirty okay. experience. No, I see you want a level. I see. I do. Strike, I really do. Tweak. Neeb, Tog. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So I think all of you did what you were supposed to do as far as I'm concerned. So you all get 100 experience for that. Uh, everybody role play expect- exceptionally well. You get 50 experience for that. Um, I'm going to say that uh, Tog Sadad uh, kept everyone from dying in the mud. So he gets an extra 60 experience. Because if he hadn't swung across, you all would have died. Or maybe... Well, he, him and the vines. So Tweak swung across and saved herself. So we'll give her some extra experience as well. Give her 60 extra experience as well for being the only other person to actually succeed at that. Um, but then give everybody else 20 experience for, for great teamwork. There we go. Awesome. Thank you, Chris. No problem. Thank you, guys. I hope you had fun. Thank you, what everybody. About translations? <laughs> translations? Yeah, that was part of your role play. And, 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 and not and doing well tonight. 
What about back. all my failed roll 20 rolls? Yeah. Shouldn't I get yeah, some compensation too. for that? I'm sure you get minus 700 experience. <laughs> no, no, that's why, I switched, that's why I switched to the box. That's why I switched to the box. I sold the box. Great, guys. Uh, so make sure you check out um, on Monday night. We're going to be doing Star Trek. So if you enjoyed this, come check out the Star Trek stream. It's episodic. It's a different thing, but it's sci-fi all the way, baby. And then Wednesday night, we're doing a Dina campaign. So that's 5th edition uh, Dungeons & Dragons. So all you D&D &D folks who love that sort of thing, you're going to love that too. These guys are great and a lot of fun. So thank hey, you guys. Hey, there's going to be combat next week. Hey. I'm going to now do the thing where I pass it off to Nat. And Aliens we'll next Thursday. Oh, and next Thursday we're doing Aliens. Yes, the one shot. My ship comes in. Oh my God, he does I have, have a not face. gotten shipping confirmation yet. So uh, I can't start without my ship. Mm. But we'll try, hopefully. Okay. Well, I like I liked last week's stream too. So we I think we can coordinate that a little better so we're not talking over each other. But I thought yeah, that was fun. Or worst case scenario, we could just follow up with another Star Wars until it comes oh in. Oh my goodness, no, that actually, would be so prepared. horrible. I'm actually prepared to, to are you so horrible for what? Oh no, I was just being sarcastic. <laughs> I, being I, I, I would I would love I would love to do Star Star Wars next week. No, I have enough actually kidding plan. me? You guys got through literally one one third of what I planned tonight. So well, then that's our backup. the stream was us moving <laughs> six meters off the ship. That'll be our backup. <laughs> hey, it only took two minutes. So maybe got maybe you'll get more and Star we'll find Wars out next week. What's in the box? Maybe. Or, or we'll find out we'll find out if if the Jawa will listen to reason. It's not a strong suit. <laughs> I hope not. All right. <laughs> oh God, because you're gonna put this like like you're gonna put this Jedi in a very very particularly <laughs> bad bind. <laughs> oh, I had it.